Ladies and gentlemen, it is your man Jelani JB Bodie, host of this thing called the Wait a Minute Show, and we are back in the building once again, coming to you hump night like we always do to give you your sports fix. Uh, Kevin Durant uh, made some moves. Uh, Andre Iguodala got some things he needs to get off his chest. And we're going to hand out a big L award. It is that. It is me. It is you. It is us. It is everything. It is the Wait a Minute Show. Let's go. Far out, Blood upon the wall. Can you see it as the people fall from an AK-47 spraying down the hall? Oh, this screaming, this act is so inhuman. This, this must be a living in the nightmare. Oh, yeah. If you can see what I see, yeah, we're living in the nightmare.
This is a podcast. It's the Wait a Minute Show. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, show. JD Bodie, that's my bro. Wait a minute, show. My man Pan is on the low. Wait a minute, show. JD Bodie, that's my bro. Wait a minute, show. My man Pan is on the low. Coming straight out of Flake, Michigan. JD Bodie is him again. Two times Wednesday, Saturday. Show make you wanna sing Donnie Hathaway. Facebook Live, Trigger.com. It's the Wait a Minute Show fam, and we drop bomb as we proceed. Just tune in, no need to take a feed. Hanging with the Stoos. JB, that's my dude. And I don't mean to be rude, but these other shows lame like eating prunes. Facebook got you tweaking. Freakers, eardrums bleeding. JB got what you need. My man Lopez saying yes indeed. Go to show.com to follow all episodes. Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? What is up? What is up? It is your man, Jelani J.B. Bodie, host of this thing called The Wait a Minute Show. And we are back in the building with you once again, Wednesday night, hump night. And I am going to give you your sports fix. And when I say me, uh, it is just me today. And, and, And when I say it's just me, Lopan is here. So let me go ahead and introduce him. All right. Let me get that out the way. You know, it is him. It is he. It is when we are together, they say we, you know, uh, but me, him, however way you want to do it. Uh, I don't want to spend too much time on him, but Lopan is in the building. Indeed. So Lopan is in the building. I'm in the building, but it's a little bit different. Uh, we are not in the ATL. Actually, Lopan is in the ATL. I am not in the ATL right now. Uh, we are doing a remote uh, show, so I do have Lopan here uh, on the show, but he is not with me. I am out of town right now uh, getting some business done, but could not do that without coming to you guys. And like I said, it's Wednesday night, hump night, to give you your sports fix. So uh, we got a lot to talk about here. Uh, but before we get into that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, once again, uh, this is X-Squad Radio Network. So October 18th, 19th, and the 20th. Please, ladies and gentlemen, put those dates to the side. Reserve those dates off from work. Whatever it is that you got to do, uh, tell your lady, tell your man, whatever it is, you know, that you got some special things going on and, and bring them if you need to bring them. But TDSS5 is going down. You do not want to miss that. Again, it is October 18th, 19th, and 20th uh, coming up. In here in the ATL, or not here, in the ATL, because I'm not in the ATL right now, but in the ATL in Atlanta, Georgia, well, it will be the Doug Stewart Show 5 uh, meet and greet and meeting and hanging out and having all this good time like we've had all the previous four times. So TDSS 5, don't forget, it is going down. You want to make sure you don't want to miss it. X Squad Radio Network will be there. Your man Jelani J.B. Bodie will be there. Doug Stewart will be there. Lopen might be there indeed yeah no lopan might be there uh chief rocker jersey Vern, uh my man mo cheese among others name after name after name you know uh of podcasters that you hear on this radio network that will be there that you will get a chance to meet uh if you already met him you get to meet him again uh and and shoot the you know what you know with them and, and chop it up so TDSS 5, October 18th, 19th, and 20th. Do not forget. So let's get into what we came to talk about, and that is sports, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, first off and foremost, today, the big news is, it well, not really big news, but the news that everyone was waiting on and that has finally happened is one Kevin Durant is now, technically now, former Golden State Warrior Kevin Durant because Kevin Durant has opted out of his last contract of his uh contract for his last year with the Golden State Warriors which was at 31.5 million dollars that would have been guaranteed and he has opted to put himself into free agency uh and, and see where we go uh from there so that is why tonight's or today's however way when you're listening to this is KD is free to go so he is free to go wherever it is that he want and now 
we can really start all the speculations as New York, Brooklyn, you know, does Golden State get them back, all this stuff. But here's the biggest thing I'm going to say about this opting out. Now, people say he could have opted out, he could have stayed there, you know, and just rehab. And while all that is true, and I'm not doubting any of that, I was talking earlier today, you know, about him uh, opting out. Please believe, trust me when I say this. Kevin Durant did not opt out to go out on a whim. He did not opt out just to see what happens. He did not opt out with a hope, wish, and a prayer that someone's going to come calling. You best believe he made this decision knowing that he has not one, not two, but probably three options of him getting a max deal. Now, one of the things that was pointed out is that KD, uh, because he opted out and the max that he can get is one hundred and sixty seven million dollars, you know, somewhere around there. And if he had stayed with the Golden State Warriors, they could have offered him a fifth year and it could have end up being up to two hundred and twenty one million dollars. Well, here's the other thing that I'm going to say about that. Please believe, remember, if this, uh, all this stuff is true about him wanting to go to New York, whether it's Brooklyn or the Knicks, just the city of New York, and him working on his brand and all these other avenues that he would have in New York versus Golden State, which, trust me, don't, don't sleep on Golden State. Golden State, Silicon Valley, and all that stuff is around there. So he ha- he has some options there. But if all the rumors are true as far as like what he's looking at, and he has it in New York, then that difference of that fifth year that Golden State can offer him, trust me, he's going to make that up. So now the question is, is what do KD does from here on out? What does he do uh, for the 9, 10, 11, 12 months that he's going to be in rehab with this Achilles industry? We'll find out, obviously, in the next week or two because free agency is coming up next week. And and we don't know if he's going to actually decide right away. But I do think KD has an idea of what he's going to do. Besides, opting out, he was going to get more money. People already talking about they were going to wait on him for the year uh, and then put together the other pieces that they need. So when he comes back, then everything will be intact and they will be ready to go. But KD opting out is bad for Golden State. I know some people saying, well, you know, he can just opt right back in. I get that. But I don't think that might be the the, the route that he's going to be looking at. I think he may look at, because here, here, I'm going to say this. If KD gets his money, somebody on that squad for Golden State is not going to get their money. Steph already got his money. Clay wants to get his money. Draymond wants to get money. I don't know what they're going to do with Boogie, but if Boogie wants to come back to play for the Warriors, I can highly doubt he's trying to come back on the discount that he did this past year. So the Golden State Warriors, to me, I don't think they're going to be the same, uh, you know, regardless. So I think he may be looking at, well, look what Kawhi did. He had some great pieces around him. He went, he made an impact. He brought a championship to that team. I can go do that somewhere else and in the city where I can get the rest of my money from. So is KD gone? I'm leaning to more. Yes. I'm leaning to more. This was a short term stint anyway. I don't ever think KD really from any jump had planned to stay in Golden State for an extended period of time. It doesn't benefit him at all. Not as far as like uh, how people would look at him as the basketball player. For me, I'm like, look, bro, you won. A win is a win. But other folks, they have a little bit stronger opinion or a little bit more weight behind what they say. They have played in the NBA. I think it matters to them as far as like how, how they view him. And he's like, hey, I got my rings. I can go somewhere else and I can do what people felt I could do anyway. But he's free to go, and I think he's going to be gone, and he's going to get that money. He is going to anybody he see 
anybody he talks to, anybody he grants a meeting with, they are going to be greeted with, Show me the money! Then that's it. 